Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. And so tonight we're drinking with a buddy who brought over two phenomenal beers that we gave four seven fives to phenomenal each. Beers. And he said, man, wow me. He said, just just give me something, wow me. And so I thought about it for a second. I was like, ah, I mean, I'm, I, I can find something that won't be the best beer we've had tonight because I guarantee he brought that beer already. But... Uh, I had something that I know he hadn't had that I thought we'd enjoy. So okay. that's the story of this one. I poured them. I know what it is. Brian doesn't. Josh in the background doesn't. And so let's get into it. All right. Pooch black. It's just black. Nice khaki, khaki head. head yeah. Holds it. See the aroma. It does hold it pretty well. Oh. Holy crap. That smells good. I get like big sweet. I'm just like raisin sweetness. Do you get that? I get, okay, I was going to say mostly I get bourbon up front and then I get maltiness and then maybe after that I get some dark fruits. Yeah, I can get, I mean, it's definitely got the like sweet malt, but I, I get some of this like sweet raisin. It's just, it smells sweet to me. Yeah, so it's either going to be a stout or a barley wine. Cheers. <laughs> it smells like a barley wine. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's good. I see you got the barley one though. It's definitely got this sweet raisin character. Super sweet. It's very sweet. Uh, but I do uh, get raisins, plum. Raisin I, mean, I get plum. the dark fruits. I mean, this looks like a sugar. stout. It does. It really does. But, but I definitely like get it. this. I definitely get this big, sweet, like candied English style barley one. Barrel aged oh. English style barley one. I get bourbon. Mm. This is really good. I keep getting this sweet cherry, like almost maraschino cherry sweetness. See, I don't get that. Hmm. I just get, I get, I, I get the sweet fruits, and so I'm going with like sweet raisins, like candied raisins, candied maraschino cherries. Mm. Yeah, I don't say I, I really don't get. I couldn't say cherries, but I certainly mm. get dark fruit, sweet. Um, Brown sugar. Brown sugar, I mean, yes. I would have thought this was a barley wine. An English barley wine or and it an could old still ale. be. An old ale maybe. You're probably judging my reaction. It's not, but, but it's, I, I, yeah. I would have thought so. I mean this is really good. Mm, it's tasty. I would have never guessed stout though, if if that's what the style is. Hmm. Okay. Um yeah, I agree with all the tasting notes. Um yeah. So uh A B V? It's up there. I would yeah. have guessed twelve percent. Yeah, twelve or it's hard to get any higher than that, and uh, not much bitterness there. Do not you have a guess on what it is? You're, so you're saying it's bourbon barrel aged? It, it tastes it tastes like aged. a bourbon barrel aged English barley wine. It does. For my reaction, yeah, um, that style looks like a stout. But if it's a, so you're saying this is a stout? I mean, if it's a stout, it's. Hmm. If I give you that piece of information, does that help you? This is a stout. <sighs> A stout that tastes like a barley wine or old ale. Mm -hmm. That doesn't help me. What about if I, and this is normally overly sweet stout. Dark Lord. It doesn't taste like Dark Lord. It doesn't. It doesn't. So it's barrel aged Dark Lord? It's bourbon barrel aged Dark Lord. Sweet. I would have never guessed that. Yeah. I would have never guessed that. And I've had this bottle and I didn't, I didn't get that last time. Um, Purple yeah. Wax, I think, is 15 or 14. I think it's 15. So I think this is 2015. Might be wrong. It might be 14. But I think it's 2015 Bourbon Barrel Dark Lord. Cool bottle. Got the got the Civil War Soldier on there. Um, yeah. Not much more to say about this. Y'all know Dark Lord's sweet. I'll say Dark Lord was made to be barrel aged. Oh, yeah. And this is an example. This is the perfect example of why. This is a wonderful beer for me. I it's mean, it's phenomenal. I love this. I love how it, it tastes like mm. that sugared candy, you know, brown sugar covered raisins and, and, and sweet cherries and it's very desserty. This one, I'm pretty sure is like 15%. Uh, I think all the Dark Lords, they, they put 15%. So. so Yeah, I don't know if I would have said 15. I mean, 12. Well, 12, it's hard to, you know, yeah. you're up there. You're in the top tier of the ABVs. Mm. But yeah, it's so sweet. I agree. It's it's bourbon it's it's bourbon barrel aged English barley wine esque. That's really what it takes. I mean, but I mean, look at that. That's super yeah. dark. 
So I guess stout would be a little more roast. This is just so sweet. But I just love, I mean, I like the fruit characters that, I mean, that's what makes it better than I think just the standard Dark Lord. It's like, oh, it's just sweet. And it then is. it's it's a little overwhelming. Whereas this, I think the bourbon kind of, the, it reels it in and makes it a little more palatable. Mm. But, I mean, so had you not told me what it was, I was going to say like a 475, but it's a stout. I mean, it, it doesn't taste like a stout. Yeah. But you would get this every single freaking time. Oh, every it's time. still a 475 to me. This is a, I mean, I guess maybe a hint thin. It's a hint thin, which didn't bother me because I was thinking it was so an sweet. English barley wine, yeah. a barrel aged English barley wine, but. It doesn't bother me that it tastes like that because that's one of my, that's, if not, I mean, I've always said it's like a toss up between barrel aged English style barley wine and barrel aged bourbon barrel stout, or excuse me, mm -hmm. bar, bourbon barrel stout, imperial stout. And so it doesn't bother me it tastes like that. Like, I don't care that it tastes like an English style barley wine. I'm gonna give this a 475 and I'm gonna get it every time. Every time. But it doesn't taste like a stout. Yeah, which is, <laughs> it's not a stout. It's a five. It's a five. It's a, it's a 10. ten. It's a 10. 10. This is wonderful. Um, I'm licking my lips to get the sugar in. <laughs> so rating this just based on the beer and how it tastes. I mean, it's a 475 or, yeah. or a five. I'm gonna give it a 475. It's top tier, yeah. But it is top tier. This is phenomenal. But just with the asterisks, this does not this taste like your typical like bourbon barrel no. style. I agree with you. Uh, but it's it's sweet, but not not super sweet like most of the, the three Floyds. Right. You know, it's, it doesn't detract. It just it, it adds to the beer, the the candy quality. I of think it. so. And the barrel aging. Mm. Brown sugar. Brown yeah. sugars. We're yeah, here in the background. Sugar. Josh loves it. He gives it a yeah. five. Four seven five. I'll stick with that just because it's so good. Yeah, it's up there. Four seven five. I'll four, go seven, as five. well. This is a treat. Um, yeah. It, Thanks for sharing. You didn't plan on doing this tonight, but all right. As always, if you can't be love, love the beer you have. Thanks.